next contestant to step up towards entrepreneurial success is Melvin Wong, who aims to put Malaysia on the map of fantasy sportsmanship. Will Melvin get the ball on the right side of the field and score points with his business challenge results? Stay with us to find out. Pitching for a handsome sum of business startup, Melvin crossed the oceans to prove he is the right player in a lucrative business idea. Well, currently we're in the IT industry and we believe that, well, I believe that there's a huge convergence of platforms. So you're looking at contents or application converging from web to Facebook to iPhone, Android, and now the new platform that we're seeing is the TV platform. Now, uh, we have already positioned our product to well, basically embrace all these different platforms. That's what, that's what makes us different than our competitors, such as the overseas competitors in UK and US. So I think convergence of technology will be the biggest trend coming up in the next three to five years. Hello, judges. Thanks for selecting me for this semi-final for Make the Pitch. So I'm here to present to you or to share with you what we have done with the 5,000 ringgit seed fund that you have generously gave to my company. Hi, um, I'm Melvin from FanXT and I'm here to just to share with you our seed fund challenge. First of all, um, we actually used the money to go to the country Turkey, especially the city of Istanbul, to actually uh, meet with the Turkish Football Federation to come up to, to basically have a partnership. And we actually got three results. One is we actually met with the Turkish Football Federation. We actually created a demo fantasy game for them, which is the Fantasy Turkish Super League. We presented the whole game to them, to the people in Turkish Football Federation, such as the marketing manager, as well as the people from the IT department. And the feedback that we get from them is that it is very good and they would like to move this proposal forward to the senior management. And we hope from this seed fund, it has been worthwhile for MyG to invest in us, and we hope to bring the result to MyG in just a few months' time. Thank you again, MyG. Appreciate it. Okay, um, so I'd like to share further and further elaborate on what we have achieved uh, from our trip to Turkey. Now, you may ask why we chose the country Turkey. Well, we have basically three reasons. Uh, first of all, Turkey is actually the top two countries which has the most users that actually played our fantasy Euro game. Now, second of all, Turkish Super League is considered a top tier football league in, by UEFA, meaning that the champion for Super League actually automatically qualifies for the UEFA Champions League. And lastly, Turkey is also a majority Muslim country, just like Malaysia. Therefore, we see a synergy that how we can work together. So what we actually did first was we actually met with Turkish Football Federation. We met with the marketing manager and the IT department team. And we presented a live demo of a fantasy Turkish Super League to them. And they were very really impressed. And they would like to move this proposal forward to their senior management. Now, the other result that we actually obtained was that we actually met with Galatasaray and Besiktas football club. Now Galatasaray is like the Manchester United for Super League and Besiktas is just like the Arsenal of Super League. Now what we actually did in that meeting with the marketing supervisor and online editor was that we actually discussed on the development of iPhone and Android apps for them. So we actually developed some of the apps that we have done for Euro 2012 and we are most uh, happily to create a similar app for them best for their uh, based for their football clubs. So these are some of the apps that we actually uh, have done for Euro. This one of the apps that we have done and a few other apps that we actually like, proposed to them. Now we actually launched the Fantasy Euro 2012 game recently. Now we targeted 50,000 users, but in fact, we actually obtained 60,000 users. That's 10,000 more users above our target. Mm. For the Fantasy Euro game, is it done in partnership with a content provider or is it done on your own? It was purely done on ourselves. 
So we built the whole application ourselves. We own the copyrights for the whole fantasy game we did ourselves. So we actually licensed it to the tech support as well as Astro. I, I don't see how um, the utilization and the funds and the, the results obtained are related. Um, perhaps you, you can elaborate because how, how does the trip to Turkey you know, contribute to, to those uh, results that you achieved? Okay, that's a very good question. We actually went to Turkey primarily to meet with Turkish Football Federation in order to create a partnership with them. So what we would like to do is we'd like to offer to develop or uh, to be the partner of their fantasy football um, application. In other words, we would like to be the official fantasy football provider for Turkish Super League. This is the, that was the my primary objective we went to Turkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. So from there, we can actually utilize or work together, or in other words, write on Turkish Super, um, Turkish Super League's publicity and to be the official and exclusive fantasy sport pro provider for the Turkish Super League. How much does it cost to It actually only that? costs a 99 cent US oh, dollars. Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Okay, so tell me, what did you do with that 5,000 ringgit seed fund given to you by Maiji? Well, I actually took the money to fly to Turkey. In mm -hmm. fact, the money couldn't even cover, couldn't really cover the cost of the flight itself. So mm -hmm. we actually used our own money to fund our own operations in Turkey. Um, we went and met the uh, Turkish Football Federation in order to do a partnership where we provide them the Fantasy Super League for the Turkish Super League and, uh, yes. football game. Alright, now before you went into the pitching arena, you were actually very, very confident. You know, winning is not everything, it's the only thing. After the pitching session though, are you still confident? Well, well I only basically live in these four things. Mm -hmm. That's God and me, myself and I. Oh, right. So, I'm pretty much confident right now, so I hope my confidence will bring me all the way to the final. Okay then, all the best. Thank you very much.